Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, today I want to talk to you about a product which is for taking the brassiness and the sort of slight yellowy tones out of the hair. Very often what I like to do on my channel is I like to really prove to myself for all <laughs> and for everybody else on my channel that the price you pay for a product doesn't necessarily matter. For example, you can pay a real high-end premium uh, cost for a premium product and you get a fantastic result. But on the other hand, you might not do the same and you may get a, a result which you're not necessarily too pleased with. So the same is for the opposite end of the spectrum. So for example, the littlest price you can pay, the most smallest price you can find, can sometimes be an amazing product. Today, sadly, is a little bit of a case where eat your own words type thing, and unfortunately it wasn't an amazing product. And we're going to go into that. The product is this one here. Now this is not going to be a product which I would use again. So recently, within about the last week, I ventured to a different store which I wouldn't normally go to. In fact, actually, um, I've only ever been there a handful of times. And I happened to just be sort of walking around with uh, some family members from my home and um, and I came across an aisle with different hair care products in it. And I thought to myself, okay, a few of these I haven't ever really tried at all before. And I had a look and I thought to myself, and I came across this and of course, jumped out straight at me because um, I am running low on sort of toning, sort of uh, silver shampoo um, to be able to bring that brassiness out of my hair. As you can see, this side is still really silvery, really shimmery. This side, I'm starting to get a bit of a brassiness come into it. So this is when I would then jump in with a nice toning silver shampoo to then bring it back to that nice white sort of uh, grey style sort of highlights, which I which I really like and I had just before the festive season. So, of course, now that we're in the pandemic, um, and of course, we uh, lockdown, I meant to have said there, we are still, of course, in the pandemic. Um, but of course, now on our third lockdown, uh, there isn't any hairdressers or anything open at all. Um, so you have to make do with what you have and you have to keep things super healthy. So in terms of the highlights, yes, they've grown out quite a bit, but I'm starting to like that look with the dark with the darker root, so I really, really like that, but I just like something to really keep the, the lengths and the highlights of my hair uh, really silvery and really shimmery. Now today I have been super busy with work, so I haven't done too much of a style with my hair, but I wanted to really just part my hair off to one side so you can see the silvery tone and the brassiness which is starting to come in my hair. And of course it looks really silvery still, but you can just see that there is some brassiness coming in here, and then in real life off camera it's a little bit more warmer, which I don't like. So that's why within about a, a week um, I purchased this. We were actually seeing my see my nan on the day. Um, yes, throughout lockdown, um, we can actually amazingly still see my treasured nan, which is amazing. And a pod visit, there's glass between us. So that was amazing. And then we popped in a few shops on the way back, and um, which were open. And this is what I picked up. Um, and it all starts to go downhill from there, to be quite honest with you. So I'm just going to read, we're gonna, we'll start with the shampoo. And I thought to myself, let's, let's have a have a look at this, let's take this home, give it a try, and I thought that it was going to be purple toning. So it says here, and it's by Expel uh, Hair Care, Shimmer of Silver for all blonde shaded hair types shampoo. Lightens blonde, grey and white hair for fantastic vibrant results used daily. Um, okay, so silver shampoo has been specially formulated for grey and bleach blonde hair to add shine to discoloured grey and brassy blonde hair which of course what we've discussed is what I have, um, helps to reduce the appearance of yellow discoloration and to give hair a brighter, glossier shine. Okay, so, and then just on the bottom here, it says lightens blonde and grey white hair. So that's a shampoo. Now, it's got an amazing smell. Let's start off with the positives, as you can probably tell from my voice. Um, it's got an amazing smell. It lavers lovely, and you really don't need a lot of it. What I find disappointing straight away is it has no purple or no sort of blue pigment or anything in it at all. It's literally just like a normal shampoo, um, which I would have thought would have looked after the silver tone. I was expecting it to at least be quite sort of uh, shiny or at least make it really, really quite a nice, um, like a, a I'm going to say a real nice cool tone to my hair, so okay, maybe it wouldn't get rid of the, the, the brassy tone, but I was expecting it to sort of taint it ever so slightly, bring it back to a cooler blonde. It didn't do that at all. Um, 
what I will say, and I was going to leave this actually towards the end of this clip, is that this seemed to irritate my scalp. This really seemed to irritate my scalp quite a bit. Um, whilst I was using the shampoo, I felt quite uncomfortable using it, and particularly at the nape of my neck, and my scalp just started to be a little bit sort of agitated. So I was very, very quick to get this out of my scalp. Um, in terms of cost, it was only a pound, and they are only a pound each. And I know a lot of people are going to be saying, what do you expect for that cost? But you know, I have used products which have been that cost before, and they have been amazing, and they have left my hair feeling great. Okay, not all of them, but I have used ones which have been fantastic for my hair. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, I have paid around about £40 for a shampoo, and it's been absolutely horrific on my hair. And I've returned the product, and I've written a review when I didn't have my channel before. So it's it really is not necessarily about time cost, to be honest. The term of cost does not necessarily come into it. It really does come into it. Your hair type, the ingredients which they have in there, um, and in this, to be honest, uh, I just, I mean, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be using this. I'm not going to be able to use this. The conditioner, now that does have a bit of a, a purple tone in it. It's got exactly um, what it says on the back of the shampoo here. Just the directions on the shampoo, the directions for use, apply a small amount of shampoo to damp hair, work through from roots to tips to create a rich lather, rinse thoroughly, and repeat process if required. Um, on the conditioner, we've just got the same introduction on the back here. So, uh, Expel uh, Silver Conditioner has uh, specially formulated for grey bleach blonde hair to add shine to discoloured grey and brassy blonde hair. Helps to reduce the appearance of yellow discoloration to give hair a brighter, shinier, gloss, uh, glossier shine. Um, directions for use apply conditioner to damp hair and gently massage through hair from roots to tips. Leave on to three to five minutes, rinse well, clean water. Okay. And again, it's just got lightens blonde and grey white hair. And on the front here, as you can see, the packaging sort of mirrors each other. But you've got the dark purple on the shampoo and the light uh, sort of pink on the conditioner. So again, got a very nice smell. The texture is really quite creamy, quite rich. But unfortunately, it did seem to irritate my scalp. And I really tried to leave it on. If I've got something which I'm really trying to uh, brighten and sort of make the blonde in my highlights a little bit more cooler and to make it more silvery. I tend to leave the conditioner on for around about 10 minutes while I'm in the bathroom. And after about five, I did see a bit of a reddish sort of rash type mark coming up around my hairline. Um, and for me, that's a clear indication that something's not agreeing with me. So it was time to get it off completely. It did leave my hair quite soft, not amazingly soft, to be quite honest with you. But how it made my scalp feel, it would be something which I wouldn't use again. Um, if it didn't affect my scalp, it had no effect on the blonde tone in my hair whatsoever. Um, so sad to say, it wouldn't be a product which I would buy again. But I don't want to sort of leave this on a negative, because from Expel Hair Care, I have used one or two products from their range. And you know what? I do find that you find their products in sort of more sort of bigger stores, sort of where they sell a huge sort of array of everything. So from garden to house to decorating that type of thing, you know, those type of stores and they have sort of these areas of all wash products and hair care products. And, and I thought, well, I'll try this. I, I, as you know, on my channel, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If not, please do subscribe. And you know that I like to have a look at all different uh, products, particularly for fine hair. And because I've got the highlights, what looks after highlighted hair as well. And I thought it's certainly worth it a try at this cost um but just unfortunately how it made my scalp feel quite nasty um and just no wouldn't really want to be using it again so unfortunately i don't very often do this but these will be uh being thrown out unfortunately and uh, they really will <laughs> um my when i was actually buying it my mum actually said to me are you sure you want to try that um bearing in mind i have bought sort of uh, from the hairdressers when I've had these highlights and that put through, I've bought the products in there before. I've bought Goldwell products and things like that, which I have reviewed on my channel. Um, and I've and I've chose one or two more expensive sort of brands. And of course, the absolute hero for blonde hair, Flanola No Yellow Shampoo, which is just incredible. I'm running quite low on that now. Um, and I thought that let's give this a try. But I think once you've tried something so fantastic and then you try this, not all the time, this was just, I don't know, so a huge thumbs down on this. But if people do find this and they do use it, amazing. I'm sure it would be absolutely great for you. For some people, I'm trying to be optimistic here. But for me, no. And as I say, I will be throwing that out because it uh, doesn't agree with me. Um, nobody else in my family's got blonde hair anyway or blonder tones in their hair. Um, so 
Unfortunately, it's a big no. Um, I hope that that's helped in terms of if you've had a look at this product or if you're having a look online or anything about that at all. It's certainly something which I like to do to help people in their product choices. Um, but for me, especially if you have a sensitive scalp, stay away from that one. Okay, thanks very much for watching my clip and I hope that you've really enjoyed that one. Even though it was negative, I quite enjoyed giving a very honest, I'm honest in everything I do in my life, um, my channel is the utmost of integrity um, and I will only ever be honest, so I'm really really sorry about that product but it's certainly not one for me. Until next time, lastly, finally, thank you very much indeed for watching and until next time, we will see you then, bye for now.